May 25th, 2020. Authorities in the bustling region of Kashmir, India, are approached by representatives of the local border security force, who claim to have captured a suspicious traveler near the Pakistan border. As the suspect is brought in, police are flummoxed to receive not a person, but a pigeon. Little does our feathery friend realize he'll soon be at the center of a complex international dispute. Since 1941, the Kashmir border has been one of the most volatile geopolitical fault lines, with a history of wars, conflicts, and ongoing military standoffs, primarily involving India and Pakistan. The region remains highly militarized, with both countries claiming Kashmir in full, but each controlling only parts of it. In 1949, the United Nations established this line of control, which divided Kashmir into two areas areas, one administered by Pakistan and the other by India, which created a makeshift border. To this day, the line of control remains tense, with frequent skirmishes and military standoffs. Both countries have nuclear weapons, adding to global concern over the dispute, so it should serve as no surprise when, on one fair May morning, the testy tensions brew over thanks to, of all things, a peculiar pigeon flying funny across the border. The bird eventually lands inside the home of a local woman who scoops it up and flags down a nearby patrol of the Indian border security forces. BSF takes one look at the bird and with their feathers sufficiently ruffled, quickly pass the pigeon off to the police. As strange as it may seem, there is a precedent for foul play. Just four years earlier, a pigeon was taken into custody after being found with a note threatening the Indian Prime Minister. And as this latest bird is booked, police are worried. Painted onto the feathers is a prominent pink patch, and attached to the pigeon's leg, a small ring, upon which is inscribed a series of mysterious numbers. Could they be codes meant for military? groups operating in the region? Maybe battle plans? Authorities can't make heads or tails of it, but out of an abundance of caution, launch an investigation. Pigeons, after all, have quite the storied history during wartime. From the days of King Cyrus and Julius Caesar to even more modern conflicts, their homing skills have made them perfect for the role of military messengers. Carrier pigeons were employed in both world wars, and several were even awarded medals for their service. <laughs> Armies have even developed anti-pigeon defense tactics. During the Franco-Prussian War, citizens used carrier pigeons to send messages outside of Paris and in response, the Prussian army enlisted hawks to hunt the pigeons down. German pigeons were trained to take aerial photographs for enemy reconnaissance. The Swiss army had a pigeon platoon as late as 1996. Needless to say, there is a precedent, and the Indian police take the matter very seriously. We're getting in some breaking updates now, viewers. A suspected spy pigeon from Pakistan has now been captured along the international border in Katua with a coded message. Security agencies are decoding the message as well, and these are the visuals that we have access to on Republic of a spy pigeon. Okay, just a quick note. If the authorities did suspect this ring had a secret code on it used to communicate with criminal cells, why are they showing it on television? It just seems like a bad plan. With word getting out about the supposed spy pigeon, a local Pakistan newspaper manages to hunt down the bird's alleged owner, a man named Habibola, a resident of Bagashe Kargarha village, situated along the Sialkot working boundary. And by the end of the day, the heartbroken owner finds himself pleading for his bird's exoneration. He claims the animal is no spy at all, rather a professional racing pigeon. 
Though unusual, the pastime has deep cultural roots in both Pakistan and India. Participating pigeons are typically taken to a set release point and then timed to see how quickly they can return to their home lofts. Of course, distances can vary from short sprints to sometimes hundreds of kilometers. Modern incarnations of the sport go so far as to utilize global positioning technology. And in divided Kashmir, there are several different organized racing clubs, each with their own unique prize pools. Did I happen to fall down an internet rabbit hole and start learning of the various underground pigeon racing communities of Kashmir? Maybe. It turns out that weird pink patch was a simple identifier. Owners stamp their birds to more easily spot them in the air or in a racing circuit lineup. Oh, and as for that weird ring with the secret code, it was the owner's phone number. The thing about pigeons is that for all their racing prowess, they seem to care very little for the geopolitical complexities of humanity, and thus tend to cross occupied airspace rather regularly. After three days of pecking at the details, Indian authorities finally conclude the so-called spy pigeon poses no risk, and finally set it free. Unless, of course, we all just fell for the pigeon's cover story. Makes you wonder. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful website. Got a creation to show off or a business idea that you want to bring to life? Start with one of their best-in-class website templates and then use their new Fluid Engine to customize it just how you like it. Use member areas to host exclusive video content. And if you've got something to sell, their online storefront makes it easy. Head to squarespace.com to start a free trial today. Then when you're ready to launch your site in full, head over to squarespace.com slash austinmcconnell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.